Good afternoon. Breaking news from Sarajevo in Bosnia. We're hearing that just before 11 this morning, Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austrian throne, and his wife, Duchess Sophie, were shot and killed while being on an official visit to Sarajevo, the capital of Bosnia-Herzegovina. One man has been arrested. This was the second attack today on the lives of the Archduke and his wife. Earlier this morning, another terrorist had made an unsuccessful attempt to kill them. Now we can go over to our Balkans correspondent, Marina Zukunovic, who is on the spot. Thank you, James. Horrible scene here in Sarajevo. According to local sources, the Foreign Office in Vienna had received a warning that the Serbian intelligence had uncovered a conspiracy to assassinate the Archduke on his visit to Bosnia. It's believed that the Bosnian Croat leader had warned the royal couple of the security risk during their visit to Sarajevo. Were there any additional reasons to believe there would be a serious security risk? Yes, James. Today, the 28th of June, is a symbolic day for Serb nationalists. It commemorates the defeat of the Serb army in Kosovo in 1389. So it's a surprise that the security detail accompanying the Archduke remained on the train while he visited the city. Thank you, Marina. What has happened this morning? The royal couple arrived at Sarajevo by train just before 10 o'clock this morning. They joined a cavalcade of six cars to drive to the town hall for a civic reception. When the cavalcade passed Kmurja Bridge, a terrorist threw a small bomb, which hit the back of the royal car and fell below the car behind. Twenty people were injured, and some seriously. What happened after the bomb attack? What was the reaction of the Archduke? When the royal couple arrived at the town hall, the mayor began his speech of welcome, but was interrupted by the Archduke, who was quoted as saying, I come here as your guest, and you people greet me with bombs. After that, he gave a speech, and eyewitnesses noticed that the text he was holding was packed with bombs. I see, that sounds like quite an event. So how did the governor respond to all of this? The governor cancelled the rest of the program and suggested that the party drive back to his residence for a reception. But the Archduke wanted to visit the wounded, so it was decided that the vehicles would go towards the hospital. Unfortunately, it appears that no one told the driver of this change of plan, which caused him to drive in the wrong direction. As soon as the mistake was realized, the driver began to reverse. A man was standing outside the shop called Schiller's Delicatessen. He drew his revolver and fired two shots from point-blank range. The dying couple was taken to the governor's palace. We hear that two men have been arrested, Marina. Is it believed they are part of any organization? Yes, James. According to a senior police officer, the man who killed the Archduke and Duchess is a Bosnian Serb named Gavrilo Princess. The man who threw the bomb is Nedeljko Jabrinovic, another Bosnian Serb. Both men claim that they were acting alone and didn't know each other, but police believe that they are part of a terrorist gang and are still searching the city for the rest of the group. Police sources are convinced that the notorious Serbian Black Hat organization is behind this assassination. This is obviously a terrible situation. How did the local population react to the events? Indeed horrible. Already anti-Serb riots have started in Sarajevo and shops and houses owned by Serbs have been damaged and pillaged. The military governor, Oskar Petiori, has declared a state of siege, but there is no signs of the situation being brought under control yet. Back to you, James. Thank you very much, Marina. The bodies of the Archduke and Duchess will be taken by battleship to Trieste and then by train to Vienna for a state funeral. The 83-year-old emperor has already left his summer residence and is returning to Vienna.